Hey guys, welcome to Avery's eight month update. Um, just a little asterisk here as per usual and lately all of my <laughs> update videos. Avery's actually eight and a half months now. This is just the first time I've been able to sit down and get this video done. So sorry about that, but I will go back to how she was at eight months old also. Just addressing the elephant in the room, Avery does not have her helmet on right now. If you've seen my previous video, basically she graduated her first helmet and we are waiting for her second helmet to get made. We actually go back a week from today and she will get fitted for her second helmet. So we are kind of in between helmets right now and that's why she's helmet free. So she gets 10 days of no helmet and I think she's enjoying the freedom for now. But anyway, back to Avery being eight months old. So I'm gonna look off my phone because it has um, just the different stats and things. I don't really have like a legit height and weight and head circumference because we don't go to the pediatrician until next month when she turns nine months. But um, I will just tell you what I wrote down on my phone. At eight months old, Avery is 18 pounds. She was actually 18 pounds and three ounces. She gained one whole pound from seven months to eight months, which was shocking. So she's a big girl. You're growing very big. And you can see it, like on her leg, she's starting to get rolls. She's got a big belly coming in. She's shaking her head no. Spoiler alert for nine months old <laughs> update. Avery can now shake her head no. I don't think she understands what no means but she does it all the time and it's super cute to see biggest biggest update for avery being eight months old is she is finally laughing it took eight months a little over eight months to get her to laugh but she is finally laughing and it's so cute to hear she's still a pretty serious baby she doesn't laugh all the time but when we do get her to laugh it is so cute when she gets really happy and smiley she scrunches up her nose and it is the cutest thing uh, if I have a video of her laughing, I will input that here. The best things to get her to laugh are doing like Eskimo kisses with her or like slowly coming closer to her and saying boo. She's, it's just, those are the things. She's not very ticklish. We can't really get her to laugh by tickling her. It's just, I don't know, she's not ticklish baby. Avery's favorite thing to say is definitely still da 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 da. She's not purposely saying da da like she wants Anthony. She just says da 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 da. Still trying to get her to say the M sound and say ma, 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 but she hasn't quite figured that out yet, but she will say da, da, or ba, ba. She does say that too. Not like ba, ba, but like ba, 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 ba. So she is babbling a tiny bit. For the most part, she's a pretty quiet, observant baby. As you've seen in my previous update videos, the pediatrician really wanted us to get working on Avery's core muscles so that she can sit on her own. She should be sitting on her own by now. Both my boys were sitting on their own by now. However, Avery has absolutely no interest in sitting and learning how to sit. We try sitting her throughout the day, multiple times a day, and every time we put her in the sitting position, she just pushes back the entire time. I've actually had to like lean her up against like our ottoman, which is a solid surface, so that she um, cannot push back and has to stay in that seated position but then she just cries the whole time and hates it. Instead of sitting, Avery would much rather stand. She loves to stand. She's getting very strong on her legs. She can hold herself up for a good bit. I think a good bit for an eight month old. So that's what Avery would rather do. She would rather stand than sit. So we're still trying to get her to sit, but she just has no interest in it. So I'm curious to see what the pediatrician is gonna say when we go next month for her nine month if she's still not sitting by herself. I don't know. I mean, every baby is different and babies are on their own timeline. Eventually she's gonna sit. She's just taking her sweet time, I guess. 
best thing about this month that Avery has done is she is now back to sleeping through the night. She was sleeping through the night early on in her life and then after a good bit, she decided that she wanted to wake up at least once in the middle of the night for a late night snack. And usually it would be like 5 a.m., sometimes it would be at 3 a.m. But then about halfway through this past month, she dropped that midnight snack and is now sleeping through the night consistently. So it's awesome and amazing. She goes down at about 7 or 7 30 sometimes as early as 6 30 depending on how her naps look like during the day like how sassy she is and <laughs> Avery Brid and then she will sleep and she won't wake up until 7 ish that's usually about when she wakes up no yes it is true so it's been so nice having her sleeping through the night again I can get better sleep and it's been awesome. So loving that. Avery is in that funny stage right now where she's straddling between two naps a day and three naps a day. At the beginning of the month, she was doing three naps a day. She'd do two pretty long naps in the morning and then the early afternoon. And then it'd always be a gamble depending on how, her sec how long her second nap would be. Sometimes we could get her to take like an hour nap from five to six. Sometimes we try to put her down and she wouldn't take that nap, so we would just have to keep her up and then she'd go to bed a little early. So she's kind of straddling between two and three naps. Um, I would think that by probably about next month, she will probably just be on two naps and we'll drop that third nap. Avery is still teething. I think I talked about that in the last update. She is still teething, chewing on her hands like crazy. She can fit her whole fist in her mouth, I swear. I give her all the teether toys. She has no interest in them. She'd much rather just chew on her hands and fingers, which is hilarious. Uh, still no teeth though. So we're still waiting on some teeth to pop through, but nothing has happened yet. We introduced a lot of new fruits this past month to Avery, kind of gotten away from the vegetables. She likes fruit purees much better than vegetables. I would say pear is probably her favorite. Apple's probably her least favorite puree. So it's funny to see her different reactions. I've been putting her reactions to different foods in my previous vlog, so if you wanna go and check those out, please do. Actually, interestingly enough, this is more about the nine month, so I'll probably talk about it then too, but interestingly enough, Avery kind of boycotted all foods except for milk for a whole like week or so. Um, for some reason, I don't know, I think it was teething. She just would not eat her oatmeal in the morning and she would not eat her purees in the evening. She only wanted milk. And that went on for about a week of just like me trying and failing over and over again, trying to get her food. She was not having it. And it's just the past couple days that she finally started taking baby food again. So I'm thinking she was teething and, uh, cause that's what I Googled. Like, what does it mean when your baby isn't eating food other than milk? And a lot of websites said it's probably just teething and her mouth hurts and she doesn't want anything other than milk. So thankfully we've kind of gotten over that and she's getting back into food, which is really nice because I think when she has the oatmeal and the purees, it helps fill her up and keep her full so that she can last throughout the night and not wake up in the middle of the night and be hungry. Avery still loves playing in her kick play piano. She will lay there and just pull, she loves the crinkle toy on it. Um, also we'll put her on her belly so she can look at the lights light up and she loves that too. She also loves bouncing in her bouncer. We will put her in there and she will just smile and just bounce like crazy. She absolutely loves it. Avery has started to really get into any toy that has has lights and that lights up. She still, of course, loves her crinkle toys, like I said, but she's starting to get into the lighting up toys, like I said, with the piano and seeing that. And then it's the holiday season. We're in December right now, so we put our Christmas tree up and she loves looking at the lights on the Christmas tree. So that's been fun to see her um, enjoy a new aspect of toys. I think Avery's getting a little bit into stranger danger. For the most part, she's pretty, fine with anybody who comes near her and wants to hold her but the past month i'd say a handful of times a stranger would get near her usually it's like the technician at the helmet um uh, office who has to get near her to put the helmet on and take it off and just kind of like see how it's fitting and there was a couple times where the technician got close to her and she started just like freaking out crying which was like a shock because usually she doesn't care about strangers and I mean she doesn't give 
other people as big of smiles as she does to me and Anthony, but she'll tolerate other people. But that was the first that I kind of saw like, oh, like you're starting to understand that there's strangers out there and not everybody is just mom and dad. So that was interesting to see. Avery absolutely loves watching her brothers play. They love to sing songs to her, which she loves. She so badly wants to join her brothers and follow them around. She's trying to figure out how to crawl so bad. She gets on her belly, she pulls up all of her limbs and does like the swimming motion and she kicks her legs and tries. She just cannot figure out that crawling motion yet, but I feel like we're getting close. Then again, I feel like I say that every month, but she is, I think, getting close to crawling, but she loves watching her brothers, especially her brother Porter. He'll get in her face and play with her and try to teach her how to crawl and I think it's good entertainment for her. Oh, for the most part, Avery is still our go with the flow, laid back, happy baby. This past month we have seen a little bit of sassiness here and there. I think mostly just from like teething pain. She did get RSV from her brothers, I don't know which one. <laughs> this past month we took her to the pediatrician. They said there wasn't much we could do, it's just a really bad cold. So she did get a little sassy just cause she hasn't been feeling well. But for the most part, she's our happy baby who's just fine with, you know, playing with her toys or watching people. L very observant baby, loves to just watch people. So we love that she's just our go with the flow laid back baby. So hopefully that continues. She's having a bottle right now. She is hungry. But anyway, that's gonna be it for Avery's eight month update. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions. Put them in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. Say bye, Avery. Say bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye.